Today I'm Ben and I'm going to be interviewing Mitch with his chess career. Hi, my name is Mitchell. I'm 14 years old. I go to Aldridge State High School and I love playing chess and playing with my dog. When did you start playing chess? I think the start of year three. Over the holidays of year two, we went down to Toy World and I nagged my mum for a chessboard. And when we come back over the holidays, the librarian was saying that he wanted to start a chess club. And I realised, I have a chess board, what can go wrong? And so I started from there. How would you describe the game of chess? Oh, it's very interesting. There's a lot of different positions you can get in. And it's very hard to be familiar with them all. I have tried, but let me tell you, it is very, very hard. How long does the average game of chess last? It depends. There's, there's a lot that goes into it. Like, you can play a lot of different variations, like one minute that's classified as bullet, as in it goes really fast. There's, like, rapid, which is, like, three minutes or five minutes aside. And then there's, like, ten minutes, and really, it, it depends. It depends on the players, and it depends on the time frame that you're playing in. Uh, do you need to practice chess a lot, or once you know how to play, you've, you've got it? Um, I guess practicing a lot kind of helps. Like, if you don't practice, you're kind of just like stuck, not knowing anything. But I guess it's really good just experimenting. Like, if you're stuck doing the same thing over and over, it gets a bit repetitive. But it's fun exploring all the weird variations in chess. Which piece breaks your heart when it's taken and why? The queen, because it's the most valuable. It's pretty heartbreaking when it gets trapped and you just, you know it's all over. So you just got to give it up. What has your greatest tournament been and why? Actually one that happened the other day because I won. <laughs> Tell us about it. I went down to Bundaberg and I just performed. <laughs> We knocked out the teams by a landslide, and I just got lucky. Uh, we played seven matches, and I won all seven. A lot of them, well, some of them were a lot older, and they seemed pretty angry when they got beaten by someone much younger. Have you ever cheated in a game? No. <laughs> That's the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> what is considered bad sportsmanship? in chess? There isn't really bad sportsmanship, it's just with the online the online stuff going on, there's a bit of like cheating, like looking down off camera so someone can't see it. Okay. But yeah, there isn't really much bad sportsmanship over the board. Okay, It's cool. just trash talking. Um, do you make small talk when you play? Try to, like in the in the like amateur competitions you try to because I guess you just make new friends. But in serious competitions you will actually get disqualified for talking to people during the chess game. Or talking around a board. It's not nice chess game. What are your goals for your chess career? Do you want to just carry on playing tournaments and doing well in them or is there a certain competition that you're aiming towards? No, not really. The main goal is just to enjoy it and have fun with other people and interact. In chess terminology, what is a promotion? A promotion is when you get a pawn, which is one of these, to the end of the board and you promote it to either a rook, a knight, a bishop, or a coin. What is a Zugzwang? It's a variation. I don't know what variation it's from, but I know it's a chess variation. I've heard the, Z the Zugzwang before, but I don't know where it like comes from. Okay, cool. Do you mainly practice online or with other people? Um, mainly online, because nobody in my family can square up to me.